What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Thursday. Today is my Friday because tomorrow I got the day off and I have Monday off. It's going to be a long weekend. It's going to be glorious. I can't wait. I need it. I need some rest in my life. I've been nothing, been doing nothing but going to work, going to the gym, coming home, walking the dog, making dinner, and then packing up the merch. Listen, the merch is flying off the shelves. Make sure you grab yourself some limited supply of everything, people. I get it in, it goes up, I sell it out, we move on to the next design. The hottest item right now, and I was lucky enough to get some more, are those white 20-ounce coffee tumblers. They are absolutely gorgeous. Do not miss out. Link below in the description. All the links below. Listen, vetted. I use everything down there myself. Make sure you check it out, and I finally made myself an XRP t-shirt. I wore it out last night. What do you know? People right off the bat. I love your shirt, man. I love it. Yeah. The virus is spreading people. The virus, the best hidden secret out there, which is XRP. All right. Enough about that. Listen, a lot to go over. I'm going to keep this as clean and tight as possible. We're going to talk about Jen McCabe's wallet because it is coming to an end and then the fireworks can start. We're going to talk about a scam going on on XLM and Stellar, make sure you pay attention. Then we're also going to talk about the SEC versus Ripple case and a new Bit BitBoy video where he's telling you this case is already over. He kind of goes over what I've talked about already of how Ripple and who worked for the SEC in the past now works for Ripple so they know what the SEC has on these documents. That's why Ripple is going after these documents. We'll get into that a little bit later. Without further ado, let's have a look at the market. What's going on? We are pumping people. Bitcoin is testing, testing 50,000. What I say? We need to get above 51K. I think we're going to see it happen today because a lot of new money has entered the market. We're coming up to $2.3 trillion. Slowly but surely, we are climbing up. This is what you love to see. Ethereum sitting at 3,751. Our beloved XRP is up 7%. It is above that dollar twenty six resistance. It is at a dollar twenty eight. I think it's going to keep going. I think we're going to break through that dollar fifty resistance mark. And if we do, you can welcome two dollars in no times. All eyes on the markets today and tonight, people. Let's see what happens here, and let's see what happens when Asia wakes up. Where are they going to take this? But everything looks good. And then, listen. If you're not a member. Of the Patreon group, I don't know what you're doing. Five different services. I just added a service. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me, boom, it's there. If you want to see everything I'm trading, the exit points, the entry points, how to get out, how much to get out, that's in the VIP service. I listed a new asset on it that's going to be a monster. I'm going to make another post covering it today. This is going to be the biggest hidden gem of this bull run. Get ready. This thing is going to go flying. I mean, we are talking about this thing possibly hitting a 50x easily, maybe in a 100x. It is going to be nothing but fireworks. Check it out. And if you, you just want to support the channel, I got a month for that. If you want to help support my two-time championship softball team, I got a level for that. I also got the right to copper treatment. Go all on over there. Great community is forming. I love to see it. Link in the description or you go to patreon.com slash Ripple Van Winkle. Now let's get into this. From Baba Chugs, everyone's favorite riller. Check this out. It's official. The Jed wallet is empty. Now I put out this statement yesterday. Everyone said his wallet isn't empty. But no, there were a little confusion here. The money, there's a wallet. A Ripple controlled wallet which sends money to Jed's wallet in which the bots sell for him. The wallet which sends the funds to Jed's wallets is officially empty. I'm going to show you that right now. So this is the Ripple wallet that was funding Jed's taco stand wallet. And then he had one more wallet. I'm not sure it had a name to it. This wallet currently only has 25 XRP in it. What does that mean? That means that all of the XRP that Jed is entitled to is sitting in his taco stand wallet. And what is his taco stand wallet looking at? Let's see if we can pull this bad boy up. Here we go. Right here. 709,911,616 XRP. If the prices remain the same or go up, we are looking at him out by December, people. 
I said it yesterday. I'm going to say it again. I think once the man is out, there's going to be less selling pressure, a lot less selling pressure. And I think this thing is really going to skyrocket. That's just my opinion. You know, Ripple has said his selling effects doesn't really affect the market, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't feel that way. Whenever you put selling pressure on something, there is going to be some kind of effect. There is neg there is there is never a neg uh, there is never a no effect when you see selling pressure on something. It's same thing when you're buying crypto. Just buy and sell walls. I don't care how much those buy and sell walls are for, for. There is an effect on the buy and sell prices. Let's keep this going. From Michael Will Alert. We got two whale alerts. Pay attention here. Whale alert has spotted two massive crypto transactions carrying a whopping 100 million and 174 million 862,720 XRP. Here are the transactions. One went from a Ripple wallet to an unknown unwa wallet, and then the other went to Jed McCaleb's settlement to Jay McCaleb, Jed McCaleb's wallet. Love saying this. And I'm sure one of these was one of Ripple's wallets emptying out and giving Jed the rest of his XRP. Now we just got to wait for that man to finish selling. If you can look, he sells on average at these current prices, $9 million a day, $8 million a day. So that $709 million is going to be gone before you know it. I can't wait. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm excited for that. And then for Michael again, FL5Links. If you're not following him, I don't know what you're doing. Give him a follow. You tell him Ripple Van Winkle sent you over. He is a wealth of knowledge to this community. He says, according to Whale Alert, on-chain analytics and blockchain tr blockchain tracking firm, a leading XRP well address moved more than 48 million coins worth approximately 56 million to an unknown wall on Wednesday, September 1st. That was just yesterday. 56 million worth of XRP on the move to an unknown wallet. I'll tell you one thing. I wish that was my wallet. If that was my wallet, I would have cashed out half by now. Nah, that's a little greedy. I would have taken probably like 10 million out so I can just sit back, relax, do YouTube videos, make merch for all the lovely people in the XRP community. And then uh, maybe get like a stream, another streaming channel going. I don't know. I would do something great. That's all I would know. Then for Michael again, Rakuten Wallet, operated by one of Japan's leading e-commerce portals, had just announced the resumption of XRP trading on its platform. Why in the first place they took it down? Who knows? But guess what? XRP is back and we are slowly starting to see XRP get back on these exchanges and starting to be trading again. And then from Ant1. Now Australia's banks are using digital currencies to move money. We will see great rise. Remember, there is only one digital currency that can move payments of three seconds for a few cents. And you all know what that is. It's XRP, people. You already know about what's going on in Australia and on that side of the world and the Asian part of the world. Japan, Thailand, Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, Australia. Then you're going to work into the Middle East with all the UAE, India partnerships. This thing is just boiling up and it's going to blow. And then Corey Johnson. For those of you who don't remember, Corey Johnson used to work for Ripple as the marketing person. I love Corey. This guy had no shame. He went up there. He told you how it was. Peter Schiff put out a tweet that said Western Union charges $4.95 to transfer up to $500 to El Salvador in order to avoid these fees. People will buy Bitcoin instead, then pay an additional fee to transfer to El Salvador, which one receives it, they likely need to sell it at a potential loss. Bitcoin does not fix this. You're right. And Western Union, MoneyGram, they both don't fix it either. You want to know what does fix it? RippleNet and leveraging XRP. Exactly what Corey says. Ripple does using XRP because that $500 is probably going to cost you like half a penny to move the money over there. And it's going to be done in seconds. Unlike Bitcoin. Listen, Bitcoin, I love what it came out for. It came out, it was like, listen, we're going to replace money. We got a better system. It didn't work out. I get it. Sometimes things in life do not work out, but you always got a plan B. Their plan B is to be a store of value. Thank you. Because you know what? You slid on over. You let the big boys into the room. Ripple is taking care of this problem with XRP, working with 40 to 50 central banks. This is what you want to see. And then for Flare Networks, pay attention to this. Big scam going on, people. An entity on the Stellar-based lobster wallet with the domain xflare.network has been selling fake assets among a fake Flare token. B 
Be careful of this and be aware of people trying to sell you flare. The only flare I'll use are on Poloniex, ZB Exchange, and Bitru. Pay, pay attention, people. It's your money. I don't want to see you lose it to some kind of scam. You know these people out there. They're savages. They have no shame. They will take your money and not think twice and then here we go let's listen to this bit boy clip he's talking about xrp he's talking about the case being over he's saying it's already done i don't know about that but you know what some kind of, somehow in deep deep back of my mind i firmly believe that the case is done i don't think that the sec is going to produce these documents i think when they fail to produce the documents the judge is going to say you know what or well she's going to see that she's either going to see them or they're not going to give them. And there's going to be such damning evidence on those documents. As soon as Ripple gets them, it's going to be over. The case is going to be done. Listen to this. Once this happens, this is the bombshell that will end the case. When they find out that the commissioners of the SEC or employees of the SEC have been trading XRP during this time, everything will go out the window. Because then you know what it does? Then it puts them at risk. And they're not going to be willing to do that. That's why this case, you hear me now. This case is already over. The settlement process has already begun. This is over. This will not go on much longer. You are now starting to understand. You are now figuring out why Ripple is beating the SEC like a dog, like a bad misbehaved dog that it is. Because they already know all the holes in the case because he was the director of enforcement is actually what Andrew Ceresny was. Between Mary Jo White and Andrew Ceresny, these guys know everything that the SEC did during this time they shouldn't have been doing. Why do you think Ripple knows exactly where to go and where to attack? They got inside people. They know. You're right. They do have inside people, unlike you, my friend. Well, you don't have anyone on the inside. But he is 100% right here. The people who used to work for the SEC are now working for Ripple. During this time when these people worked for the SEC, they knew everything that was talked about. They knew everything on these papers. That's why Ripple, I'm telling you right now, the SEC is going to hand over the documents. It's not going to be the right document. Ripple is going to call them out by name of what they are looking for. Ripple knows now from Mary Jo White and Andrew where to attack, what to look for, what was discussed. There is a reason Ripple is focusing, zoomed in, laser eyes, focused on these documents and these so-called notes. Do not forget, Ripple wants the notes because these notes are going to be damning. The SEC tried to fight the notes in the case. They didn't work out too well. There is evidence on these documents, on these notes, that is going to prove that they spoken about XRP and that they had no clarity or they didn't know what XRP was at the time. Once that information is released, the case is done. XRP is going to be declared not a security. They're going to create a new test. It's going to be called the Ripple test. All of our emerging digital assets that are coming into this space need, need to go at, uh, follow that guidelines. I don't think that the SEC is going to straight up take a loss because if they take the loss, it's going to look bad for them. But I do think once this case is done, that they, go, they are going to go out and attack other coins right away to kind of sweep this under the rug. And then they can say that they just took actions and won against this coin, that coin, this coin, and this coin. That's just my opinions, people. Time's going to tell. But listen, I, I, I think this case is wrapping up. I really do. I think it's coming to an end. I don't think this thing is going all the way until next year. We're going to find out. But listen, keep your eyes on XRP in the markets today. Bitcoin just hit 50K. XRP is $1.28. Let's, let's get above 51000 for Bitcoin. We'll see a quick movement up to the $55,000, $57,000 range. Let's get XRP to keep pushing. Let's break $1.50 today. What do you say? Early enough. We have plenty of time in the day to do it. Make sure you check out the Patreon. Help support Ripple Van Winkle. Make sure you hit the likes and thumbs up. Also, go get yourself... A beautiful XRP coffee cup from the XRP Merchandise Third, plus plenty of t-shirts, different style cups. I got 30 ounces in. I got whiskey glasses coming. I got beer mugs. I got mason jars that are almost done. Oh, I got so much stuff, and everything is made by yours truly in my house. It takes a lot of time. It feels like I got three jobs, people. But hey, I love what I'm doing. I love this community. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.